Good morning folks, Chef Dan from Dan's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make something a bit more... That's just my friend messaging me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm about to make something quite um, simple. So it's like um, in between easy, medium, difficulty. Right, um, I call it Dan's Big Breaky. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I need some sausage mints. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got 500 grams, but I'm not gonna use 500 grams. No, because um, I'm not serving that many people. Okay. So maybe, hmm. Maybe even just a quarter. What I want to do is put the mints in the bowl here. Yeah, you don't need a real lot, depending on how many people you're going to cook for. Probably a bit more ickier than um <laughs> than the um, normal beef mints. Well, you're gonna have to do that if you're gonna um, if you're gonna cook. You know, get your hands messy. Yep, be there. Be there in a second, my friend. All right. up into into manageable size balls hmm. and flatten them out best you can just like you would with a burger patty Stick it on there. So, got enough um, here for maybe maybe three. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm I'm just gonna make two because yeah, I don't want to make them too small, but I don't want to make them too big and thick either. So yeah, like in um, to a burger patty like that, and then I need to wash my hands before I go any further. Stay there, folks. All right, just washed my hands, folks. Now we've made the um, sausage um, patties. Now we're just gonna get our one tomato, cut it in half. Yeah, like that. Just put that aside. Now I've got here some middle bacon. Uh, yeah, so that's what that's what the cut of middle bacon looks like. And then I'm gonna cut that in half so it fits conveniently in the in the frying pan. Okay, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, cut up another piece. And yeah, like that. Now, what we're gonna do is probably fry these up now. So now I've got my frying pan all ready. Okay, um, we're just gonna let it heat up a bit on full. the bacon, no oil required, because the fat from the bacon will ooze out and you basically got your oil there. And that's the only trick I learnt from an ex. Yeah, that was useful. <laughs> Depends on how um, well you like your um, and your bacon um, um, you know, fried. Some people like like steak. Like some people like a um, rare, medium, well done. But, um, I kind of like um, crispy bacon. So um, your crispy bacon, you leave it in your pan for a bit longer, but, um, but obviously don't burn <laughs> Yeah, um, I was away um, um, for the weekend, yeah, um, with my um, beautiful girl, um, and got to meet um, her family. Um, the rest of her family. They are the nicest people you could possibly meet. I'm really pleased with the way it all went. Yeah, um, what did we do? We, um, oh, we went to this um, winery for, um, um, oh, for um, her um, Father's sixtieth, um, and um, yeah, it was like a um, great barbecue. The food was amazing, but I think I had a bit too much of the vino. <laughs> That's wine. If, um, if I'm not sure what I meant by vino. <laughs> mm. I had a bit too much, but the main thing is I enjoyed myself. I don't really get to um, drink as often as I'd like to because um, I, have a, I have a job and I don't want to talk terribly. There you go. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> over. Mm, that's looking really good so far folks. So this this part here, um, the eye of the bacon, yeah. and it doesn't um, um, fry up um, as well as um, this side does. The, crispy bit. But, yeah. oh, it's still really good. I like it. Oh, and um, also, um, my sister, orange on your face, 
that's the nickname folks. <laughs> now she's um she's down here for under two weeks. Because yeah, it's my um my dad's um birthday this weekend as well. Yeah. And she finally gets to meet my beautiful girl. <laughs> and we are going out. We're gonna have some delicious wine tasting. <laughs> I've also started to um, appreciate um, finer things like, you know, like wine and, um, um, and togetherness. I've learnt a lot. Sausage patties. Mm. I'm just gonna add a tad bit of oil. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna turn the heat down a bit to medium. You know, a patty is still a patty, and you don't want to overcook it on the outside and um, undercook it on the inside. down a bit um, with the flip. I'm going to see how these turn out. Because I haven't made them sausage patties in a long, long, long time. Odd minutes on each side so it cooks through. Okay, folks, while the, um, the sausage patties are um, cooking, <laughs> all right, folks, so while the sausage patties are um, cooking. We are going to make some scrambled eggs. So I'm using two eggs. And then using a fork, I'm going to I'm beating them pretty hard. Better um, um, you beat the eggs, better quality the end result will be. Okay, I'm just going to check on the um, sausage patties. All right, so what we've got here. Zoom in. Yeah, 
Now they're cooking right. Now just flip them over so they shouldn't be that much longer. Now, back to the eggs. Right, so now we've beaten them up nicely. So now we just wait for the patties to be um, be cooked. I usually like to cook the meats, um, any meat products first when I'm doing brekkie. Yeah, because um, yeah, cold eggs aren't as nice. Okay, while we're waiting for the. Um, for everything to um, cook, we are going to stick these um, tomatoes into the microwave on high for about uh, give or take minute and a half. Right. Okay, so now we've got the um, sausage patties all cooked. We are going to now add the beaten egg to the pan, like that. Give it a stir. Oh, the tomatoes are done. So working quickly, that it doesn't stick too much to the pan. Sprinkle a bit of salt. Okay, so scrambled eggs don't need to be cooked for too long. I like mine um, nice and fluffy, but not undercooked. Right. So I'm going to add these to the big plate here. Mm. Right. Also, what you could do is kick up the heat a bit, add some oil, this is completely optional. I mean, or you, you can do one or both. I have the scrambled eggs and the fried egg that I'm gonna that I'm gonna um, fry up. So I'm using here a egg ring. Shell in there, got rid of it. Mm. We'll let it, you know, let it fry up for about oh, thirty odd seconds. A minute, give or take. I'm just gonna let, yeah, let more of the whites um, 
cook up before I flip it over. Ah, you know what? I'm just going to grab a pair of tongs, get the flipper, like that, and quickly... There we go. Bit of the whites escape, but that doesn't really matter. It's probably stuck to the um, um, to the ring, so I'm just getting a knife here and very carefully and gently um, cutting the egg away from the ring. So you can fry your egg or just do it the old-fashioned way put it in don't need a ring <laughs> all right now um, what I'm gonna do is I've cut up some English muffin I've got multi-grain here I love multi-grain. Just gonna stick it in the toaster for a few minutes. There. I'm not gonna um, not leave it in the toaster for too long, but maybe warm it up, you know, so it's a bit soft. some more um, bacon frying in the background okay. in case you're wondering what that is yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. back to work later on today <laughs> yeah. the um, party is over had a great weekend did some exploring, actually looked, looked at some pretty nice looking caves, which I've never seen before. Never been in a cave until, um, until yesterday. I highly recommend that you do it, folks. So now, the um, muffin that I just put in the toaster is now um, warmed up to my um, desired temperature and softness. <laughs> All right, now, what I'm gonna do is get the sausage patty. Egg. Yeah. And just a slice of cheese. Alright, just pop that on top. And I'm going to zap this real quickly in the microwave for about, oh, about a minute. So I put the um, muffin in here for about a minute. Hmm. Oh, you know what I might do? Oh, I'm gonna add a strip of bacon to that. Yeah, like that. And zap for a minute. Yes, this is a very old microwave, folks. But it's still reliable as it was when we moved here. 
Right, so that took about oh, 40 seconds actually, not a minute. So yeah. There we have it folks. Okay, there's just one more thing we are going to do. We are going to cook up some baked beans. So I'm going to set it to a medium heat. Just a can of baked beans. Um, baked beans don't require a lot of time to cook and yeah, we just want it so that it's you know, nice and hot just give it a quick stir ah, it's starting to bubble up already perfect but we are going to leave that in there for just a bit longer. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I did that once. I thought, um, oh, it's starting to bubble up. It's already. No, nah, it was still pretty cool. So I'm just going to. Do some quick gentle stirs to make sure that it doesn't, doesn't burn okay I, I think that's enough and then we're just gonna add a couple of spoonfuls to the um, to the big plate it folks Dan's big brekkie mmm there's a lot there enjoy and also mostly enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>